Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgia here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is the 29th. We only have a couple more days here of our, our survey going on. We need your help. What kind of yields do you have out there? What are you seeing? Uh, we've done very well in the past uh, with getting you guys the best information we can. We stretch across the entire Corn Belt uh, with our survey and really try to bring you guys the best numbers that we can. Uh, so we need your participation. Please get online. Let us know what you're seeing out there. Let us know what kind of yields. I know I've talked to several people and the maturity is still behind, but your best uh, your best guess right now is certainly appreciated. So give us a call. Let us know what you guys are seeing. Other than that today, it is relatively quiet, although we had a nice recovery for corn off the lows yesterday. Uh, and we've got a little follow through again overnight. Export sales more neutral for corn, over 800,000 tons. Uh, we had minimal sales for beans and neutral for wheat. So nothing really big, but I don't think the demand side of things is changing anytime soon, at least until we see some bigger numbers, or maybe we get a deal done with Japan. Uh, but there's a lot of things that are out there that are still in the open. Of course, the media is still trying to talk the China issue uh, and China trade. We have to remember that trade issue is probably going to continue to get kicked until after the election. So it feels good one day and then it hurts the next. So we need to continue to watch that. But that right now kind of stirring up things. We're looking for any positive news. Yesterday, the grain markets found a little bit of a recovery because the 11 to 15 day forecast for North Dakota, seven to eight degrees below average temperatures. They took a lot of that out of the forecast here today. So watch that as we go into uh, that 11, 12 o'clock time frame. Do they put that back in? It had the market very concerned yesterday as now we're going to be looking into September and what do we do? How do we finish this crop is going to be extremely important from this moment forward. So here we are coming up to the end of the month. We've got today and tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised. We see big volume trade today with very light volume trade ahead of a long weekend tomorrow. So we'll see what kind of positions get evened up here today as well. But give us a call. We're always here to help you out uh, and get online and let us know what kind of yields you have out there. We greatly appreciate everything you do. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys soon.